Tragically, children are most at risk from the potential dangers of genetically engineered foods. The biotech industry claims that genetically engineered foods are safe, but scientists and investigators around the world disagree. New evidence suggests that industry pressure and political collusion force these foods onto the market, and their effects on health, particularly on kids, may be serious. When we got the FDA's documents and began to analyze them, we found something very shocking. The overwhelming consensus within the FDA's own scientific staff was genetic engineering is inherently hazardous, it is very different than conventional breeding, and every food that is modified through it, every food that's been genetically engineered, has to be carefully safety tested because it runs the risk of harboring unintended harmful substances such as new poisons, new allergens. And the person in charge of policy was a former attorney for the large biotech company Monsanto. What did the FDA administrators do? They had ignored, overridden their own side of statements and presumed that all of these foods are safe. No long-term safety studies, no safety studies whatsoever are required before foods are put on the market. And that's like saying you make a car and the producer of the car doesn't test it, will let some people you know, get killed driving the car to see if it uh, is safe or not. It's an absurd position, but that is the position of a lot of the people who are promoting this technology. Those who complained were fired, stripped of responsibilities, or forced out. The remaining whistleblowers had to write an anonymous letter to Congress claiming that there was fraud and conflict of interest in the department. People were saying in the industry and the regulatory agencies that if the American people want progress, they're going to have to be the guinea pigs. Rats that were fed genetically modified tomato developed stomach lesions, bleeding stomachs. Seven out of 40 died within two weeks and the tomato was approved. Rats fed genetically modified soy had misshapen nuclei in the liver cells. Rats fed genetically modified canola had livers that were heavier. Rats that were fed genetically modified corn had problems in the development of their blood cells. Our knowledge of genetics was still far too rudimentary and genetic engineering technology far too crude for the release of genetically modified organisms into the environment and their entry into the food chain to be justified. They took a genetically modified potato and they fed it to rats. And the rats ended up with potentially precancerous cell growth in their digestive tract, smaller brains, livers, and testicles due to retarded development of the organs, partial atrophy of the liver, and a damaged immune system. I think that the, the main problem is likely to be this long-term effect of uh, a GM. I think that the simplest analogy is, uh, is uh, uh, smoking. How long did it take uh, for smoking, uh, the effects of smoking to be uh, uncovered? 30, 40 years? Chicken fed genetically modified corn died at twice the rate of those fed non-genetically modified corn. 12 cows died mysteriously in Germany when being fed genetically modified corn. And several Midwestern farmers report that when they feed genetically modified corn to their pigs, the pigs have reproductive problems. The mother hogs were uh we're going into their full pregnancies, and instead of a, a normal litter of babies we were having, they would deliver bags of water, or they wouldn't do anything. And as we worked our way through this, we, we found through word of mouth and media coverage another 25 farmers in five states that had exactly the same problems. The only human feeding study showed that genes that had been inserted into soy actually jumped from the soy and now took up residence inside the DNA of the gut bacteria inside the human beings. So even if we stop eating genetically modified soy, it's possible that the protein that it's engineered to create will continue to be produced inside of us. These might be the basis for real, and we shouldn't use, scientists are not supposed to use strong words, but these might be the basis for real ecological and health catastrophes. That's a fact. We know that soon after genetically modified soy was introduced into the UK, soy allergies skyrocketed there by 50%. These are companies with decades and decades of well-documented lying to the American public. There was an epidemic. About 100 people died and 5 to 10,000 people fell sick. They finally traced it back to a food supplement that had been created from the process of genetic modification. People who boost genetic engineering are going to have to do a mea culpa and... Uh, and 
come clean and ask for forgiveness like the Pope did on the Inquisition. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. You know, we made a mistake, and let's start yeah. over. With the growing body of research that suggests that GM foods are not safe and should never have been approved, a complete overhaul of our diet and school meal programs is long overdue. Join communities all over who are organizing to remove genetically engineered foods from school meals. To find out more, go to gmfreeschools.org or call the GM Free School campaign at 641-209-1765.